Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with of course a brand new COC episode and welcome my friends to Baby Tony. So it is the first time we've officially logged onto this account for over I would say two to three weeks now and of course we didn't even do any attacks last time we were logged into the account so I've decided we are going to be trying something. I've heard rumors that there is now an insane amount of loot inside of the Gold 1 League. When I say insane amounts, apparently there are raids of 600,000 plus Golden Elixir and you find them so damn frequently. So currently we are sitting at 995 trophies. We are about to make our way up to about the 17, 1800 trophy mark. We want to see what kind of loot we can find. If it's decent, we are going to actually start to literally play this account a little bit more often and maybe max out my what is it town hall six it's a town hall six so obviously we do want to get it to town hall seven we do want to get the barbarian king and i do want to try and maybe bring it into the main clan eventually so i've just bought a tiny amount of gems i bought 500 gems taking us to a total of 567 so we are about to uh go in for some live attacks just before we do let's just build up a few parts of this army so we're going to bring... Oh no, you know what? We can't even afford wall breakers. We're going to stick to archers. We are going to stick to just archers. So there we go. We're going to bring... Why isn't it like... Oh, we've gone over. Hold on a second. There we go. We're going to bring another 31 archers, taking our total army to four wall breakers, eight giants, 62 archers. Let's see what kind of loot we can find. So here we go, we're going to see if we can find ourselves a live attack. So we're going to look for some decent loot. Now one quick announcement guys, the next video is going to be the day in the life slash, you know, my kind of, you know, my kind of video showcasing what I do on a daily basis. So stay tuned for that. It will be the $250 giveaway inside of that. And it will be coming, as I said, inside of the next episode. So make sure you stick around. That is definitely going to be uh, maybe a little bit surprising to loads of you who have never seen me before and don't know what I do. So I promise you, stick around to the channel. That will be coming out in about four to five hours time. As I said, it's going to be like a day in the life. So the weekend is just about to start. It is actually currently 2 a.m. in the morning and I'm recording this extremely late, but I've decided to go onto the Baby Tony account because I want to have some fun and I really want to just initially grab some loot and then I want to start a trophy push. So here we go, guys. The archers are going to take some of this money, but there's a lot of elixir there. Hold on a second, guys. Here we go. Giant's about to go in. We want to grab all of the elixir inside of those little pumps there. I'm not really too bothered about getting the victory just yet. Just trying to stack up quite a bit of elixir it seems to be working i think we've grabbed about 20,000 elixir inside of this raid about closing in on 25,000. so it's been an awesome raid although we didn't get an overall damage of 50 percent we've still managed to grab a load of loot so we're going to end the raid there check it out what did we get we got 24,000 elixir that is perfect so I want to know if you guys actually want to see some Baby Tony episodes because to be honest with you, for me, Baby Tony is just such a low level that I don't know if you guys are actually going to enjoy it. So I want to know if you guys do enjoy it. If you do want to see these types of episodes, then leave a like on the video. I don't even know how many likes to go for, but if you want to see these episodes, guys, please take a second out of your time, go down below and leave a like on this video. Obviously, when the update is released, hopefully... Within the next one to two weeks, we will be heavily focusing on that on the main account. But during that time, we may do, you know, one Baby Tony episode every single day just until the update does launch. Just to, you know, change it up and maybe even have some fun trolling some lower levels. So, we're going to build ourselves a second army. This time, we have a little bit more elixir inside of our camps. And we can actually bring, for I think the first time ever, some wizards. This is going to be cool. Okay, so we're going to bring, we're going to bring 12, we're going to bring 12 giants. We're going to bring four wall breakers and we're going to bring ourselves a couple of wizards. We're going to go with four. Four wizards. We're going to fill the rest of the spots with archers. Hopefully this time we can find a raid which has somewhere in the uh, the, the boundary of maybe 100,000 elixir. Let's see what we can find. We are currently inside of the Silver 3 League. As I said, I do want to make my way up into Gold 1. The rumors are Gold 1. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, check this out, guys. 291,000 gold. 343,000 elixir. This is the biggest loot raid I've ever seen, especially for my town hall level. Now we're going to go for the victory, but I do want to see if I can pick off some of these uh, some of these buildings just to begin with a couple of these archers. Can we get that gold? Can we get that elixir? No, nope, but we can grab the gold. That is awesome. Going to grab ourselves the research center. We can also grab that army camp there, I believe. Now we are going to go for the town hall here, but before we do, let's move in on some of this loot. So here we go, guys. Going to be dropping in a wizard and of course dropping in a couple 
of the uh, the archers around the base. So we're going to see if we can, you know, just pick up some of these actual buildings here. Here we go. Giants are going to go in. Going to send in some archers. There go two more wizards. And then the final few giants going to sprinkle them around the outside. There goes another wizard, guys. Can we drop in enough of these giants? You know what? We're going to have to sacrifice the town hall. We just don't have enough troops. So the wizard is taking out those gold storages. It's going to go for a small amount of that elixir as well. I believe we actually managed to grab more gold than elixir inside of this base. So what we're going to do here, we're going to drop in the wall breakers and see if they can do some splash damage. Yes, they can. Didn't really grab too much of it there. Wow, they just about scratched the surface. And we got the tiniest amount of elixir. Total though, we have grabbed over 100,000 elixir from this single raid and somewhere in the region of 200,000 gold. So not too bad, not too bad at all. We still have a single archer getting a little bit of loot from that gold storage. Sorry, that gold collector there, but it's not looking that great. So we are gonna win that there. Let's see what we got. There we go, now we're talking, now we're in the money. We can build ourselves a real army. So we have 110 troop spaces. There he is. We have a variety of different troops, but we can actually bring spells. What spells can we bring? Okay, we've got heal spells. So let's do this. Two heal spells. That should be enough. We're going to go two heal spells, and now we're going to start to build our army. So we're going to go once again. This time, we're going to bring ten giants. We are going to bring no wizards. We're not going to bring any wizards. We're going to stick with wall breakers, barbarians, and archers. So this is just going to be a very simple army. Going to bring the rest of the spaces as archers. That is the entire army locked and loaded. 10 giants, 22 archers, 30 barbarians, 4 wall breakers, and for the first time ever, we are using spells. So obviously I've never used spells before on this account. That was a free town hall there. Why did they just let that go? Here we go. This could be interesting. We could actually 3 star this base. Now it's only worth 13 trophies, but if we 3 star it, it could be interesting. You know what? Let's skip it. Let's see if we can find something a little bit better. Here we go. Landed on this, guys. An easy base, and I believe... We can three star this. If we don't three star this, then I don't know what is going on. But I'm sure we can three star this base. Here we go. Going to do a double finger with the barbarians. We're going to drop in all of the archers now as well. And we're just going to see what happens. So first heal spell is going to go down nice and early. Don't know if I should have done that. I think I kind of just wasted that heal spell. But it doesn't matter too much. We're going to keep the second one for this wizard tower and the mortar. Which is probably going to wreck me. So the barbarians are moving in. The mortar is about to land and they are getting wrecked. Wow, they are definitely getting wrecked. So we're going to drop down a heal spell just ahead of these barbarians and archers before they do arrive onto the wizard tower, which is currently getting taken out by the giants, which is cool. So the barbarians taking a very long time to take down some of this, uh, this actual gold storage there. The barbarians are slowly taking it down there. It's about to drop. The wizard tower is going down. Here we go. The archers have finally arrived, but I thought this base would be a lot easier than it actually is. Definitely these level one troops do kind of suck. It's been such a long time since I've used level one troops that I just couldn't remember what they were like, guys. And they are getting wrecked. So the Barbarians, the Archers moving into the base. It is about to be a one star for the first time inside of this episode. We are about to get a victory, I hope. There we go. We just secured a one star. 53%. Let's end it there, guys. What is the loot bonus? Loot bonus is going to be... Wow, that sucks. That really did suck. We made less money than we actually received. But we did get a star bonus there as well, which just about pulled back, I think, the amount of loot we spent on that raid. So we've got 173,000 elixir. Just under 300k gold. What can we actually do? Can we upgrade any troops? So let's go and see if we can send any of our barbarians or anything to the next level. So the barbarians are going to cost 50,000. But it is going to take 6 hours. Now if we actually click that, we're going to spend 50k. It's going to cost 72 gems. So we're going to upgrade the barbarians to the next level. There we go. That's awesome. And we're also going to upgrade the archers. They're going to cost 134 gems. So we have level 2 archers, level 2 barbarians. Now we're talking, the army is starting to proceed and, you know, get stronger. So back into the army camp we go. We're going to bring another 10 of these giants. Actually, no, we're going to drop it. We're going to bring 8. We're going to bring 50 archers. This is where we get serious, guys. Level 2 archers. Let's see what the difference is between the level 1. We're going to bring 12 barbarians and then a final 4 wall breakers. We're also going to bring another 2 hill spells if we can afford it. Yes, we can. Just about affording those hill spells. So we've dropped all the way back down to... What is it? 33,000 elixir. So we need to find ourselves a big raid. Now we are going to see if we can push up a little bit. We're going to look for no less than 100,000 elixir. 100,000 gold. I'm sure it's very easy to find. Just under 1,000 trophies. So hopefully we can push over that inside of this video. Check it out. Check it out. We've just landed. I think this is a channel 5. Maybe a channel 6. But it's pretty perfect because it's got loads of elixir. And it's all based on the right hand side. Now the other good thing about this base is the town hall 
Seems like it could be easy to grab, but I'm not really too sure. So what we're going to do, we're going to sacrifice a giant. And we're going to send in the full wall breakers. Please don't hit the wall breakers yet. We got through, guys. So we've broken through into those, I think they're level 4, maybe level 5 walls. Which means the giants can now go into the base. And hopefully take down some of those buildings there. So we're going to drop loads of archers just behind. Space them out all around, guys. And then we are going to go in with a first heal spell just on the giants. To make sure that we can keep them alive. Well, obviously, we need to take down that mortar shell as quick as possible. We need to take out the mortar. The mortar's taken such a long time to get taken out. It's actually destroying loads of my archers and loads of my barbarians there. Wasn't the greatest. Was not the greatest. We do need to grab ourselves a town hall. Let's see what we can do. We're going to drop down the hill spell. We seem to have got loads of archers and, of course, a couple of giants within the zone. So this could be promising, guys. We're up to 35% so far. I'm not going to lie. These level 1 archers and level 1... Uh, sorry, level 1 giants completely suck. I would never use these. I don't think we are going to use them again. I think I'm going to stick with barbarians. The giants just don't seem to get the job done. Now, we've got a couple of archers which have arrived on the town hall. It looks like we are going to secure ourselves a 2-star as long as the archers on the right-hand side can take out maybe one or two more buildings. Check it out. There is a nice little cluster of them there. One little wizard tower. If Harry sees them, he will melt them. He will absolutely melt them. So check it out. They've landed on the gold mine, grabbing Tony some more gold, grabbing myself some more gold. A couple of archers still on the town hall. Looks like the two stars coming. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to grab all of the gold down the bottom. Okay, now we're in some serious trouble. That is some serious range. Wow. Our archers just got crispified. I don't even know if that's a word, but we just got wrecked. 120,000 elixir. We did get 11 trophies. We still got the victory. But that really didn't go to plan. So we're going to switch it up. We are going to go in for one final live attack. This time, we are going to use something different. So we're loaded. We're pretty much loaded. We're balling, guys. We've got a hundred and something thousand elixir. We're going to bring a balloon army. Literally just, you know, how many balloons should we bring? Let's just bring loads of balloons and then come in with 20 archers as well. So this is one of the weirdest armies. We are also going to bring ourselves... How many heal spells can we bring? Can we bring three? One, two, no, just two. Okay, so we've got two heal spells. We've got loads of balloons. Let's go in for one final live attack. We are not taking on that base. That is horrible. Absolutely horrible. We're looking for something like that, except maybe a little bit more loot inside of it. This one's decent, but I don't really think we're going to go for it. We want more. We want more. More is always good. Here we go. Now it's Orkin. There is an air defense inside of it. There is a couple of wizard towers. First off, I want to test for a clan castle. Okay, nothing inside of the CC. We can go ahead and drop some of these archers down around the outside and just pick off some of those free buildings then it's time to go in with a main attack here we go guys balloons balloonian is about to go in and the rest of the balloons gonna go in on these wizard towers over there here we go guys check it out so we're gonna drop down the first heal spell keeping the balloons on the right hand side alive the rest of the balloons gonna go right into the center and it looks like sir tony has managed to destroy the base now we have a heal spell remaining not gonna need to use it we're going to keep it because I think there's going to be a couple of air mines, maybe some air bombs deeper inside of the base. So those balloons are absolutely OP. We've destroyed this base in seconds and it doesn't look like there's a single defense left. Oh no, there is. My bad. Oh, cheeky little buggers. Okay, so we're going to take out the cannon first. Oh, no way. Look at that. Wow, we just lost about seven or eight of those. That was disgusting. What a cheeky little bugger, guys. So check out our balloons getting taken out. How many balloons have we got left? I think we got quite a few. We, we've got this. We've got this in the bag. That, that air defense is... What? Wow. Okay, so we're going to drop down the last few archers, and that's all I've got remaining. So although we've managed to take out every single one of the defenses, we've only got about six or seven archers on the base. And if there's another couple of big bombs, we are in trouble. So we don't even have a single balloon alive. I don't know why I didn't use the hill spell. I wasn't expecting that. But you know what? It is my fault. So we got 1 minute and 27 seconds to go, guys. We're going to let this entire raid play out. We will see you very shortly. I will be back in a couple of hours' time, as I said, with the next video, which is, of course, going to be the day in the life. It's going to be the giveaway, so make sure you stay tuned. Leave a like if you do want to see some more Baby Tony episodes. Let me know what you think about this account, guys. And are you hyped for the upcoming update? I will see you shortly. Have a great evening. Peace out.